This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, April 27th. Stock index futures trading higher today due to better than expected corporate earnings reports. Also, we did have the first quarter GDP coming in up 1.1%. That compares to the estimate of a 2% increase. So a little disappointing there. Uh, some better news, though, with the jobless claims coming in at 230,000. That compares to the prediction of 249,000. Also, a couple of other reports at 9 o'clock Central Time. We'll have the March pending home sales index guessed at a 0.4% increase. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll have the April Kansas City Fed Manufacturing Index. And, uh, no estimate, but last month that index came in at zero. So in advance of the Fed's meeting on May 3rd, where the Fed is likely to hike interest rates by 25 basis points, but possibly for the last time. I think stock index futures will probably have a difficult time sustaining gains. Once that Fed meeting is out of the way, I think that the stock indices will probably tend to trade higher, but not until the meeting is over. Currency markets seeing the uh, dollar index a little bit higher, the euro currency a little bit lower. Uh, we, we had consumer confidence in the uh, eurozone rebounding just a little bit that's only slightly supportive to the euro currency still looks like the european central bank is on track to hike rates at its next meeting bank of england also likely to raise rates at its next meeting while the bank of japan at its meeting tomorrow will probably keep rates unchanged also we had inflation in australia declining this is import prices declining 4.2 percent that's the first decline since the fourth quarter of 2020. And in the interest rate futures markets, some flight to quality longs being liquidated in light of no new uh, bad news on the banking situation. But longer term, still appears prices are likely as the global economy tends to slow. And I think uh, this is a long term trend for higher futures prices. So once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.